Hello, my name is Tommy James and I work for the Oklahoma Corporate Extension Service in Bryan County. I'm a family and consumer science extension educator and I am a proud tribal member of the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma. My name is Bernice Williams. I'm a registered nurse. I, I'm a diabetes educator. I work at the Hugo Clinic and the Toka Clinic. Uh, we see patients with diabetes to help them in their management of their diabetes. Today we will be uh, demonstrating a hearty and healthy stew called Choctaw Hunter Stew. We will be using fresh venison, deer meat, and we will be using fresh vegetables such as good old corn on the cob, potatoes, tomatoes, garlic, onions, celery, and okra. To prepare the hunter's stew, um, first you need to cut up your meat. And we've already cut up our meat, okay? And then we're gonna come on over here to the, the stove and we are going to um, add about two tablespoons of vegetable oil to a large uh, stock pot. And we are going to um, saute um, two cloves of chopped fresh garlic and uh, two large onions. We're going to saute our onions and garlic for about five minutes. Now we're gonna add our deer meat to our sauteed onions and garlic. I'm going to add um, a half a teaspoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt to our meat mixture. Mix it up really well. And then we're going to just let the um, uh, deer meat brown in the pan for about another five minutes. When the deer meat browns, then you'll need to add uh, water and we're just gonna be adding enough water to cover the meat. Well, Ber Bernice, let's talk a little bit about um, diabetes. Mm -hmm. What puts people at risk for developing diabetes? Well, there's a lot of different risk factors, and um, uh, some of the main ones are um, uh, people that are inactive, they're not exercising enough, uh, overweight, um, certain races are more at risk. Uh, us Native Americans, we're one of the races at risk for, for diabetes. Bernice? How can someone prevent from being diagnosed with diabetes? Okay, uh, a healthy diet is real important. That uh, can be a, a part of man the management of prevention. Or a person who can uh, be active, the more active you are, that's gonna help. Uh, but uh, mainly it's, it's diet and exercise. What are some uh, programs that the Choctaw Nation is doing to help educate people about diabetes? We have a diabetes uh, wellness center in Tallahena. Also, we have our uh, Labor Day Festival uh, at Tuscahoma, and uh, people can come there for uh, screenings, getting their blood pressures checked, their uh, blood sugars checked um, for during that festival. Okay, while the, um, the deer meat is cooking, uh, this is when you can prep your vegetables. They recommend that you cut your vegetables into uh, small bite-sized pieces. Uh, we've already prepped our ve vegetables to save time. We're gonna be using six carrots, three celeries, uh, two large potatoes, three cups of tomatoes, two cups of fresh corn kernels, and our last vegetable that we're gonna add, we're gonna add two cups of okra, after we add our vegetables to our meat mixture, we're gonna just let it simmer until done. But if, if needed, if you, if you see that you need to add um, more liquid to your stew mixture, you can add vegetable stock. And today, we're gonna add some homemade canned tomato juice. And we're gonna add two cups. So we're just gonna br bring these vegetables uh, to a simmer 
and we're going to simmer them until they're uh, cooked. Bernice, what do you think of our uh, Choctaw Hunter Stew? It really looks good. There's a lot of vegetables in there, which is really healthy for us. This Choctaw Hunter Stew can be uh, served with good old cornbread or some fry bread. And today we're going to uh, eat our stew with some fry bread. Eat hot We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.